Judy, money laundering charges march on tonight against Chicago's wives of the cartel. Mia and Olivia Flores are married to drug mob twin brothers Pedro and Margarito Flores. The wives have been claiming they were exempt from criminal charges because prosecutors, they say, had given them immunity. Tonight, a federal judge says no free pass for the cartel wives. I'm not aware of any immunity that pro that provides blanket protection against future crimes and future misconduct. That's just not the way the system works. Gil Sofer designed immunity deals in criminal cases while working here at the Dirksen Federal Building in Chicago as an assistant U.S. attorney. But Sofer, now ABC7's legal analyst, says an immunity deal like the one the Flores wives described would never have been offered because it aimed to protect against future criminal conduct. Mia and Olivia Flores are married to these twin brothers, Pedro and Margarito Flores, from Chicago's Little Village neighborhood. It was from here that they were top U.S. operatives for the Sinaloa Loa cartel boss, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman. The billionaire drug lord El Chapo now serving a life sentence at America's Supermax prison, in large part due to the Flores twins turning on him. But tonight, the Flores wives are fighting money laundering charges and claiming that prosecutors had made a special agreement with them to use their husband's drug proceeds as they wanted, even after the twins were imprisoned. Judge Matthew Kennelly tonight has ruled there was no proof that prosecutors handed them immunity to continue a criminal enterprise. The essence of the claim here, to throw it out by these wives, was that they had been promised immunity, but they could point to nothing in writing. They had no conversation that was recorded or reported. They're talking about it, what they said was an old discussion years and years and years ago with an assistant U.S. attorney. Uh, those kinds of claims rare, very rarely succeed. If the wives of the cartel had been given immunity, it might have been the deal of a lifetime. They had stashed $5 million in drug cash under the floorboards of a home and gave authorities information about where to find it. For that, the women claim prosecutors gave them a free pass. Tonight, with a federal judge not buying it, the next important number is June 20th of next year. That is the current trial date for the wives of the cartel.